look, I think we're all we're all scared day to day about our individual private secret alone lives. And like uh, I think this movie can be a comfort to people who like go through life. I mean, I just don't think it's that uncommon to go through life feeling vulnerable. I think that's uh, that's what makes us human. And I think this movie is about that. It's about the kind of ways in which uh, um, life pulls you through something. The kind of feeling of being pulled along in your own life. I think that's what the movie is about. I don't know. I'm walking. No, I love it. I, I, I have something I just thought of which is uh, my therapist, Denise Vinegrade, always says that insight is highly overrated. And I think the movie, in a lot of ways for me, is about that, about insight and intellectual revelations being completely useless compared to messes, stumbling forward, making mistakes, doing seemingly irreparable things and, and moving onward it's like it's all work so like was there ever like a big revelation no but uh you know it's really hard to make a movie it's even more difficult to make a movie that is uh built unusually like ours was so we definitely experienced this thing where you know you, we're kind of sending the script around um before it went through the sundance labs and people read the script and they were like what the hell is this this isn't what a script is supposed to be and then as soon as it gets in the, in the labs, as soon as it starts accumulating like IFP or whatever, we, I, you know, we did the Nantucket Screenwriters Colony also, and then the Sundance Labs, as soon as it starts to collect these kind of stamps of approval, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, how original, and yeah. you know what I mean? So I think like in a very superficial way, it was a huge boon to us because it, it, it kind of uh, validated the way in which we were approaching the project. And then in a genuine, not or like not superficial way, in a, in, a, in a kind of creative way, it's just like there's no place like that, like the Sundance Labs. It is, it's, you get intensely involved with the material. You're surrounded by people who uh, are caring and are kind of pushing you to kind of go after what you want. They're not kind of putting kind of rules on on top of. Uh, of your process, and they're treating you like an artist. And I think so, especially in making a first movie, the real fight is feeling like you're allowed, you know, or feeling like, uh, feeling like the thing that you feel could be a movie. Do you know what I mean? And I think, yeah, and I think both, Eric and I have very specific ideas and feelings about what movies are and what they can be. And I think one of the reasons why we work well together is that we allow both we allow each other to feel kind of powerful as, <laughs> as like filmmakers yeah. and I, I think that the the personality of this movie is the thing I'm most proud of it's a striking kind of confident unusual movie and that's a product of two people working together on, on a script and allowing the movie to become something that like didn't resemble anything else and to grow in the process yeah. yeah. Look, you guys uh, must be familiar with Michelle Satter from the Sundance Lab, and um, there, are, you know, people there. Rachel Chanoff. We've worked with them. Uh, in my case, for decades. You know, I think I met them in 1992, and they have been a part of everything I've ever worked. On, literally, everything I've ever worked on. And uh, you know, I had a student at Columbia ask me the other day, like. Uh, you know, why are you here? It's 11.30 at night. And uh, I was telling them a story, uh, or, and, and they were saying, why do you uh, work so hard on admissions and getting he us to come? And I said, somebody called me from Sundance once, Michelle Satter, and she said, you know, I think you should write a feature. And I said, I just, I'm doing good. I'm working in film design. I made that one short. She goes, no, you, we think you should do more and that you are something more. And the, the, none of this is written in stone, you know? People say, why did I collaborate with Russ? Because nothing's written in stone. It's not going to be a given that people succeed. You must, uh, if you care about the medium and people, you you have to push so that it, it gets out there. And uh, without that, without places like Tribeca and Sundance, I don't know where uh, American film would be.